My name is Georgia Lee and I'm a filmmaker. I knew I didn't want to be a doctor or a scientist, so I actually came to New York and uh, worked for McKinsey & Company, a management consulting firm. That was interesting, but I knew that my heart was always in film. So basically, I took some uh, summers off while I was at McKinsey to do um, the NYU crash courses in filmmaking, and that's where I made um, my first short film, The Big Dish. <laughs> That's when I realized that I was desperately, hopelessly in love and um, that really I couldn't do anything else with my life. And that first film actually led to my apprenticeship with Scorsese. <laughs> My professor liked the film enough and he said, hey, you should send this to Martin Scorsese. Um, since it's inspired by one of his short films, um, maybe he would get a kick out of seeing it. I actually found his fan mail um, address out in Beverly Hills, probably his agent or something, and sent a VHS tape with a very you know, naive letter that said, this is my first fledgling step towards being a filmmaker. Um, you know, Taxi driver changed my life and um, I got a voicemail. And, uh, and the woman said, hi, this is Gretchen Campbell. I'm Martin Scorsese's assistant. Uh, Marty watched your film over Thanksgiving. He loved it and he liked to meet you. And I promptly like fell out of my chair. You know, as a aspiring filmmaker, he is, there's no better icon really to, um, to look towards. And I, I went kind of naively again onto the set of he was shooting uh, Bringing Out the Dead at that point. And um, again, very naively asked him, wow, you know, blink, blink, I want to be a great filmmaker like you. How do you do it? And I still remember he said, well, to be a filmmaker, you make films. You know, a lot of people talk about making films um, and whatnot, but, you know, it's about the work. And uh, you made one short film, that's great. Um, go make another one. And then after that, make another one and just keep on making movies. And that's what it's about. Um, and so then I went. Um, back to McKinsey and took another summer off and, um, and made another short, which is Bloom. Um, and at that point, uh, Gangs of New York had been greenlit. So I actually um, was um, invited to be an observer on the set. And he had been taking one or two filmmakers out with him on set for his previous films. And so I got to be the observer on Gangs of New York, which was uh, an amazing experience. I mean, it was a fairy tale come true. I did two more shorts after that. I did Educated, um, and which I co-wrote with uh, Jane Chen, and that is also um, has, again, very uh, psychologically horrific elements. Um, and then another short called Diagnosis, um, which again, um, unbeknownst to me, I um, consciously, I, I, I gravitate towards much more surreal, dark themes. Um, and towards violence too, because I think that is a much more effective expression of our internal psyche. Um, and so after that in 2000, 2004, early 2004, um, we embarked on making Red Doors my first feature film. I wish I could retire. Retire? You're about to get a promotion. You wanna retire at 29? I'll be 30 next month. Oh, that's old. Katie. Thanks, Kat. What, it is. There's a Star Trek episode, a whole planet of people had honorably killed themselves on their 30th birthday. Katie. It was 60. Whatever. So Red Doors actually premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival in 2004, and we were really, really um, fortunate um, to win uh, the Best Narrative Feature Prize for our category. The winner is, want to read it? Red Doors, directed by Georgia Lee. Thank you so much, Tribeca, for you know giving diverse voices a chance and for really supporting the independent film community. Thank you. I'm the biggest fan girl. I love you know I'm I love cyberpunk stuff. I love um, you know I love uh, graphic novels. I love science fiction. I love horror. So definitely, I actually think that these genres, science fiction and horror, are again the best vehicles often to um, to really hit home on some of the deeper messages about. Um, about society. Hopefully you'll see me in the movie soon and uh, in the meantime you can check out my shorts. <laughs>